And it's a pretty hot day out here. I was walking around my garden. I was taking a look at my tomatoes. My Everglade tomatoes here are in this spot. For some reason, aren't growing very well. Now, I've noticed that something seems to be getting to the, the tomatoes themselves. Probably a bird or something. I'm not sure why you know, we're getting such little growth on the leaves. Maybe there's a nitrogen deficiency in the soil. Over here is one of my Ildi tomatoes. You notice how the leaves are curled up? This isn't leaf curl disease. This is actually from too much water from all the rain I've been getting. Uh, you can see this one here, here is doing pretty good. It's in the shade. The others are doing fine. So I'm thinking that the water is probably you know, tilting to that one direction, which is why it's getting more water. My Umberto tomatoes are doing really nice. In fact, I even have one starting to develop right there. Right here I wanted to show the spot I was going to prune. Here we have a sucker here that's going in quite long. So all we have to do, snip that off. That'll help, help with the health of the plant. And as for the sucker itself, I can try and root this. You can see there's a flower on one of the suckers. You want to remove that. You can remove some of these lower leaves too. Now we just have just a little bit of top part. That should be enough for, for the plant to build to hold up. And we just stick it in water and wait. And with any luck, I'll have a new tomato plant. Okay. So our tomato that I put in water has formed roots. You can see that. This is ready to go into the ground. Interestingly enough, these roots up here weren't really sitting in the water, they were just sitting above uh, within the uh, within this area here. Have to be gentle with these roots. These roots formed in water like this just tend to be a little bit fragile. They don't really have much in this bed right now. I'll just put it right here. Inside our mulch. Give the area a good soak. You can see the water hasn't really gotten down into there. Be a little bit deeper. It's okay to plant you know, tomatoes this deep because of this, this property of how you know, the, the roots will form along the stem like this. If you've seen them, you know, the hairs on, on a tomato plant, each hair can potentially become a root.
There we go. Move our mulch back in place. One more watering. I usually like to almost overwater a little bit when I first transplant something and get it established. Now I'll come back and, and keep watering this and make sure this stays moist it's for at least a week, You're giving it a little bit more water than I, than I would normally. As a little bonus, I got my first Umberto tomato.